And today on reviews and how to's, we're gonna be looking at a manual coffee grinder. And yes, this was sent to me to review, but I'm purely gonna demonstrate it to you and let you see what it looks like. And you can decide if this is the right product for you. Let's open it up, check it out, test it out, and see what we have. And very nice box. You get a black velvet storage bag. How cool is that? Your instructions. And look at this thing right here. I mean, how cool is this? You got a wooden scoop. You have your handle for your grinder with a nice wooden handle. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. You have a little blower ball or bulb. You have the actual coffee grinder itself. And this thing is heavy. This is made out of metal. This is not plastic. And you have a brush for cleaning. Okay, so we're gonna go to kind of go over some of the features and set this coffee grinder up. Like I said, this is made out of metal, very durable, gonna last you the rest of your life probably. The burrs on the inside or the little grinders, they're made out of 440 steel and they are extremely wear resistant or, and they're gonna last a very long time. Now, if you open the bottom here, you can see you have your knob for adjusting how fine or how coarse you want your coffee. And if you notice, this little knob just free spins, okay? Because in order for you to set this, you actually have to push down on it and turn it the way that you want it to go. Very cool, and this is all metal as well. I mean, this thing is built like a tank. It's extremely, extremely durable. Now, when you're getting ready to grind your coffee, of course you wanna set your setting right here, but then you're gonna take this little acrylic disc and it's got a protective cover on it for manufacturing and you wanna peel that off. This should be clear. There's one side. And we got the other side, and that's how clear this thing is. Then you have this little nut that goes on here, just like so, and that actually screws on to your handle, just like that. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your little wooden scoop here, and you're gonna scoop up coffee beans, just like that. Put however many in there you wanna make, and if you're a coffee connoisseur and you like that, to take that extra time to make that extra special coffee, this is what you need. Hands down, no doubt. Now what I'm gonna do is take this plastic bag right here. We're gonna stick this cover on here. We have it all lined up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna proceed to turn the handle. And just like that, you're grinding coffee. Now that's on an extremely fine setting like if you were making espressos or something like that. But now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to a more coarse setting. Now you can see that's much more coarse coming out. And that'd be something like what you would use for your coffee pot. Or your uh, automatic brewers. Let's see if we can go even more coarse. Oh yeah, it gets as coarse as you want it. And super easy. I'm not struggling whatsoever. It's a nice fluid motion, just no complaints. It's my first coffee grinder that I've used like this and I like it. I'm not gonna use this every single day, but sometimes like in the afternoon or lunchtime and you feel like just having that midday cup of coffee, that's when I am gonna like sit there and just take the extra time to try to make it that much better. I'm not gonna use the auto coffee pot. I'm gonna put some fresh beans in this. I'm gonna grind it up. I'm gonna put it in my French press, press my own coffee out, and just, you can't beat it. I might have put too many beans in there. And finally, we are done. We have ran all of our beans through there. You can tell it's completely empty. And you can just simply screw this base back on for storage. Now, you do see that they have a blower and a brush. That's because ever so often, you do wanna pull this apart. You're gonna take the base off and you can unscrew the bottom and pull all the internals out, clean them, brush them off, blow them off, stick it all back together, just to keep this thing in tip top shape and sanitary. And you can see right here how good of a job this grinder did. I mean, look at all that yummy coffee. I went to a really coarse setting, but you can see in the bottom too, they got some really good finds too. Cause I was trying, you know, all the different steps from fine to 
very coarse. So a very complete and really, I mean, just super nice coffee grinder set. You can see it looks like a Roman column design and it's just very classy. I mean, if you're a connoisseur and you want to let people know, hey, I'm serious about my coffee, this is it. If you're not that person and you have one in your family, this is the perfect gift for them. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.